Tsuboshi, a young warrior of the Seiryu Seven, was devastated by the death of his twin brother, Amiboshi, and savagely murdered Tamahome's family in a fit of retaliation. Tamahome transformed into an angry demon of vengeance. I have something to protect also. I swear that I will summon Suzaku. I'll redeem Tamahome and save all the people in this land. With this purpose in mind, the Lady Miyako renewed her vows as the priestess of Suzaku and set out for the Hokan Empire, the land of Genbu, to find the Shinzaho. Miyaka! Miyaka and I are connected by this hair she left behind. The same way she and Yui were connected by their school uniforms. I've got to find out all I can about this book. Hmm? Keisuke Yuki! Hey, I'm talking to you! Whoa! Check out that super bait! What a hottie! Huh? Where? 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 Where is she? Ah! You can't be that stupid. Uh, Tetsuya! <laughs> I'm in a hurry. I really can't talk right now. <laughs> ah, I know you're trying to avoid me because you still owe me that 10,000 yen from the other night. I said I don't have time right now. No? What's so important you don't got time? Say what? Your little sister Miyaka got sucked up into that book? Shh! Come on, Keisuke. Who do you think you're trying to kid, huh? I'm serious about this. Miyaka is inside this book, the universe of the four gods, and living there as the priestess of Suzaku. When she gathered the seven warriors, she was supposed to summon Suzaku and have her wishes granted, but she failed. On top of that, her best friend Yui was also taken into the book, and now the two of them are bitter enemies. Tamahome. Don't you realize the reason I want to protect you so badly is because I'm in love with you? Of course I know that. That's the whole reason I came back from my world. I couldn't forget about you. I knew no matter what, I had to be with you. And that's why I left you. I couldn't bear you risking your life just to protect me. <sighs> <sighs> Does it hurt? This place is a shrine of Seri, in case you were wondering. Now your beloved Tamahome won't be able to help you. It's a trick! Yui! What are you doing? How could you... You tricked me, didn't you? You didn't come back here for me, it was only your desire for Tamahome that made you return. Isn't that right? You had it easy from the beginning, you had someone who cared about you! For me, it was just the opposite! Do you have any idea of what I went through when I first got to this nightmare world? The kind of pain I went through? Yui... Everything that happened to me was your fault! <laughs> I love Tamahome far more than you do, Miyaka! And now, I'm going to take him for myself! Miyaka. Stay well, my love. Are you Master Tamahome? So the Emperor of Kuto is promising to end this war if I come along with you? That is the promise, yes. You can take that horse. I miss you so much!
What made you think you had permission to speak to me that way, obnoxious brat? Tomohome? Where are you? Answer me! Iyaka! Don't give up! You must not die! Suzaku, give me strength! I care not what happens to me, but Miyaka must not die! Miyaka! I see. It's finally time. How can he know about that? It's all been a part of my strategy. Strategy? That's right. Some time ago we sent out a spy, and now this informant is hiding in Conan. And what about the message on his arm? They say twins aren't at all like normal siblings. They share an exceptionally strong bond in both body and mind. Do you mean the spy we have hiding in Conan is... My twin brother's there. Ameboshi. And then this group called the Seryu Seven showed up in the story, and things started getting a lot more dangerous after that. Hmm? Found it! Uh... The Encyclopedia of China. Let's see, Chinese, for gods, for gods, for gods, for gods, for gods... Oh, here it is. Ah, thanks a lot. Well? Okay, four gods. The 28 constellations. According to Chinese astrology, in order to fix the positions of the constellations in the heavens, the sky is divided into 28 regions. These regions are then divided among the four cardinal sectors, north, south, east, and west. Each contains seven of the constellations with one of four beast gods associated as ruler with each sector. So if that's the case, this Suzaku your sister has become priestess for is the beast god that rules the seven southern constellations. Yeah, and it sounds like the ancient Chinese were quick to blame anything weird or catastrophic on the constellations. So then it was perfectly normal for them to have believed in stuff like the universe of the four gods. Keisuke, who's this Enosuke Okuda guy they mention here? Hmm? I don't know. What comes next? Just release it. Move the cursor to the icon. Right, okay, okay, I've got it. What was that name again? Einosuke Okuda. Okuda... Einosuke. Religion. I think that's on the third floor. Okuda, Okuda. Ah, huh. mm. oh, got it. Huh. A professor of religion from the Taisho era. Let's see that. Taisho, huh? That was over 70 years ago. Discovered an ancient book entitled The Universe of the Four Gods in China, returned with it to Japan. What's wrong? It says here that according to the treatise, The Legends of the Great Rivers of China, in 1923, he committed suicide after first killing his only daughter, Takiko. Hey, Nosuke Okuda brought this book back to Japan and then killed his daughter. What the hell is going on here?
My brother and I are connected by that piece of my hair. Maybe he's in the National Library right now reading the universe of the four gods. Tamahome, I'm coming in. Boy, he's sloppy. What a mess. Oh, well, he doesn't even notice. I bet he hasn't slept at all in two or three days. Ah! Stop it, Tamahome! Let go! I guess it's okay to touch as long as he's not awake. If we were back in the real world and Tamahome was a regular high school student, we could love each other without anything getting in the way. Miyaka, you were molesting me in my sleep, weren't you? Taking advantage of me. No, I was not. You started it. I just came in here to bring you your breakfast, and you started sleep-hugging me. Wow. Well, if that's true, I should have made more out of the situation than when I had the opportunity. Rats. <laughs> what do you mean, rats, huh? Still, I'm glad. About what? That you're feeling better. I overheard Noriko whispering earlier. Everyone's been real careful around me, but I'm okay now. You sure? Yeah. You're here with me. If you weren't, I don't think I'd be able to recover. The priestess of Suzaku watched lovingly as Tamahome ate the breakfast she had prepared. Ugh, I don't care about that stuff. Why did Enosuke Okuda kill his only daughter and then commit suicide? That's what we need to find out about! You know better than to yell in the library! Right. <sighs> hey! Hmm? What's that? Faith and the Four Gods. Listen to what I just read here. There is a heretical subsect in the Four Gods' faith known as Shizinism. They believe that in the place where heaven meets earth and good meets evil, the holy beast gods will materialize, summoned by ceremonies in each of the four regions on earth, representing the 28 constellations. That sounds just like what Miyaka and the others did. Give me that! The Believers collected all the incantations and spells used for summoning the four beast gods together to compile into one source. This written scripture they assembled was known as the Universe of the Four Gods, and it was regarded as pagan heresy. A young girl in each region would be chosen as their priestess. She then would be required to read the spell and afterwards serve as a sacrifice to bring forth the beast deity. Keisuke! Miyaka! Miyaka, can you hear me? Keisuke? Hmm? Can you hear me, Miyaka? My brother... Keisuke? What happened? I don't know. She just suddenly... Miyaka! Get back here to our world right away! The universe of the four gods is not an ordinary story! If I'm right about this, it could become extremely dangerous there for both you and Yui. And if you're not careful... You might be killed! Killed? What's going on, Chidiko? Miyaka is acting kind of strangely. But Miyaka always acts strangely, you know? Hmm? What is it, Chichiri? I sense a life force. An evil presence looming ahead of us, you know? Getting closer and closer! You hear me, Miyaka? I know you can because we're still connected through this hair. Ask the Celestial Warriors with you for their help and have them send you back here. What do you think you're doing, young man, shouting in the library like that? Oh, huh? Nelly, just calm down. Come back home, Miyaka. I can't go back. You must not attempt to summon Suzaku. Something terrible will happen if you do. I can feel it. Something terrible? 
Miyaka, are you okay? You catch a cold or eat bad meat or fish or something? Yeah, what'd you eat now? Come back! Leave everyone? Would you rather die, Miyaka? Miyaka? You eat him. I can't go home yet. Mm. Tusky, burn this hair! Hmm? Do it, now! Okay, okay, whatever you say. Forgive me, brother. What are you burning in there? Oh, lady, calm down. No, I will not calm down. Ugh, what's she thinking? She burned the only link she had to me and to home. I can't hear my brother anymore. Miyaka, you could have gone back to your world? It's okay. There's no way for me to leave now. I'm going to stay here with you and fight. Ah! Chichiri, what's happening? I think an enormous enemy power is approaching us head on, creating this storm front. They're attacking with lightning. Lightning? Could it be? Soy? That lightning will pursue your ship forever until it is completely destroyed. You shall become wreckage upon the sea long before you ever reach Hokan. A little water won't beat us! It can't stand up to my mighty flame! Skull, you don't swim well enough to save someone else. Hang on, I'll throw a line out to you guys. Go on, Toski. You go first. Thanks, man. You fell in too? Miyaka! Ah! Tamahome! Nuriko! Ah! Uh, uh, I swear to you, your debts will not be in vain! We're still alive, you moron! They're being swept out to sea! We have to go out there and rescue them! If any lightning strikes now, they'll be electrocuted, you know? Yaka, hang in there. Uh? Hey, over this way, you guys. Get up on this rock. Keep the 
Noriko takes the Lady Miyaka into his confidence and tells her about his cherished younger sister, Korin, who died when he was very young. While grappling with his painful past, Noriko rises to confront a difficult challenge as an intimidating opponent appears. Next time, the flash of battle. On they travel to where their next enemy dwells.